Hi there, Mark. I've got both your projects out here. I'm, uh, I'm gonna try and touch base on both of them. Um, we uh, had discussed this minimal black float frame uh, when you were here. Uh, I also believe this is the style of float frame that uh, Craig was recommending. And um, yeah, this is one of the more shallow ones for, for a smaller piece and on a board it makes sense. So um, yeah, that would fit in just like so. I know I positioned it for you when you were here looking at it, but um, I'm gonna let it kind of rest down at the bottom of the frame right now. But that, um, that gap around the exterior of the peripheral of the painting around there would be a quarter of an inch and I would also position the height of the the painting to be just so under the lip here that would be not flush but about an eighth of an inch maybe a quarter of an inch down so that it's recessed from the face of the frame kind of pseudo protected <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd lift that up into the position, quarter of an inch around, an eighth of an inch at least down. And yeah, the, the face of this frame is is pretty small, not not quite a quarter of an inch, but um, kind of itty bitty, like nice and sleek. Um, this little black float frame for this size piece, including that quarter of an inch uh, float gap around the artwork would come to 160. Um, pretty basic, we don't have to consider glass or anything, um, wire to hang it. And there you go. So um, I didn't want to show you any other kind of flashy frames because honestly, I want the art to be the flashy part. So yeah. Um, and as for the, the motorcycle one, I, um, I love these matte boards that have a black core. So when that, uh, that bevel is cut, the black core inside makes that very distinct, sharp black edge. Whenever I've got something with, with text, um, newsprint, any, any articles or anything like that, I like that crisp, sharp edge, um, kind of highlighting all of the, the text details. Um, and I know we want to focus on the, uh, well, just, just this part right here. I'm gonna crop over all of this. We don't need to see that. And uh, same with this one down here where we're just kind of showing the window for um, for your article here and cropping out the rest. Um, yeah, I know I asked and um, just remind me, did you want this to be a vertical, one window on top, one win window on the bottom, or a horizontal where we've got left and right. I'm pretty sure horizontal, um, I'm sorry, vertical <laughs> is a good fit for it with, with kind of narrow spaces. Um, I'm gonna double check your check text message. I think you, you showed me a picture of where you'd like to hang it. But um, yeah, I, I was thinking vertical like so. Um, I have a minimal black uh, metal sectional that, um, here's a plain black one, and it also comes in a black with a sleek silver finish on the face. I've got some fuzzy stuck to it here, hold on. Whew. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of got like a brushed silver on the front, and I liked this one for the idea of having the black and uh, silver rims, the parts of the bike, yeah. So um, metal sectionals are put together like so, obviously, and the uh, the front of this frame is just this eighth of an inch, very minimal part on the surface there, and then the side of it drops down a quarter of an inch. So the artwork goes in this channel and gets pushed up to the front of the frame like so, and all you see, um, one-handed here, I'm gonna set this mat board in, all you see is, is that bit right there. So really sleek, very barely there. Um, yeah, I, I like that for it not being too bulky. So um, yeah, this would come to 185, which includes that um, two inch mat board margin, the two windows, top and bottom, black core, nice and tight around the areas that we wanna focus on, and the um, black and silver sectional. If you wanna go with just the plain black, that's fine too. Um, they're the same price, so yeah. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be glad to answer them or show you anything else that you um, may want to see. Okay, yeah, talk soon.